All right, we're talking about the number one best exercise for sciatica. This is a very difficult exercise to come up with as far as the number one best because sciatica is an umbrella terminology. It means your sciatic nerve is irritated. There are thousands of reasons why your sciatica can be irritated. So I'm going to show you a strategy that looks at one of the most common areas that can contribute to sciatica, which is lack of hip mobility. Even with that statement, it's hard because hip mobility happens in three planes of motion. So I'm going to show you a strategy on how to get your hips to move in all three planes of motion. So it's kind of a long one. Let's start with your hips ability to move side to side. So we're going to take the feet and go wide. Okay, you're going to put your hands on your hips. You're going to lean a little bit to the left and you're going to just kind of mobilize your body like this to the left. You're going to rock for 15 seconds. You should feel in your groin. You're pushing your hip with your left hand. Now we're going to go to the right side. We're going to push the hip to the left and we're going to lean a little to the right. Not enough to make our back hurt, but just leaning a little to the right. You should feel the right groin. Okay? Now you're going to take your feet and we're going to, that, that gets the inner thigh. Now we're going to step one foot across the other. If my right foot goes over to the left, I'm going to push my hips to the left and feel this nice tension on the outside of the left hip. 15 to 20 seconds there. Then I'm going to take my left foot and go over to the right and push my hip to the right. 15 to 20 seconds there. Okay? So that gets the hips moving better side to side. Now let's look at the hip rotation. I'm going to turn my toes out. I'm going to put my hands on my hips. I'm going to turn my hip to the left and I'm going to gently mobilize that hip or oscillate the hip to the left. Should feel this in the right front of the hip or the groin. 15 to 20 seconds. Keep my knees locked out straight. Now I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to mobilize my hip to the right. Should feel this on the left hip. Okay? Now I'm going to toe in. I'm going to rotate my hips to the left like this. Should feel this on the left hip. 15 to 20 seconds. Keep my feet nice and turned in and flat on the ground. Then I'm going to go to the right. Mobilize my hip to the right. I've got two more. Now our hips can move front to back. We're going to go into the staggered stance position. I'm going to drive my hip forward and back. Should feel this in the right front of the hip. 15 to 20 seconds. Then I'm going to gently take my upper body and reach down a little bit as long as my back's not hurting. Should feel this in the back of this left thigh. Okay? 15 to 20 seconds. Then I'm going to take my feet and switch them. Front to back. Should feel this in the left. Then I'm going to go forward. 15 to 20 seconds. Real gently. No pain with these. Just stretching. That's an easy way to get your hips moving. Three planes of motion. It's a good start on the number one best exercise for sciatica.